All right, guys, so let's go ahead and start right over here. We'll go from left to right. We've got Guy Gardner, one of two, collateral damage by Howard Chaikin and uh, Michelle Madsen. Uh, these are, the next three are some that I reviewed on Comicgeddon a few months ago. It's Superman Doomsday Hunter Prey storyline. This is the first time Superman uh, faced Doomsday after he came back from the dead. Great storyline. In fact, in one of the panels, it shows a young Clark Kent, and he looks just like Tom Welling. Who played uh, Clark Kent on Smallville. We've got Giant Size Green Lantern Annual. Several classic Green Lantern stories. Uh, 1998 is when this collection came out. Still in uh, fairly good condition. As you can see, here's what Acid from Comic Books does. That's why it's always good to put your comics in bags and boards. Keep them separate so the ink doesn't run off onto other comics. We've got Batman, Tarzan, Claws of the Catwoman. From Ron Mars and Igor Cordy. It's a uh, Dark Horse and DC collaboration. This is part three of four. Uh, this is one I've wanted for quite a while. Uh, even though it's not that great of a story, it's still good to have in the collection. It's a uh, Spider Man Batman. Uh, it's a Marvel DC collaboration. Demates. Bagley, Hannah, and Farmer. Uh, this is the one where Carnage and Joker team up and they eventually fight each other. We've got Green Lantern, Silver Surfer. I believe this came out before the Marvel vs. DC storyline. Another DC Marvel collaboration. Punisher, Captain America, Blood and Glory. Wolverine, Spider-Man. Wolverine vs. Spider-Man, I guess. Wolverine and the Punisher. Damaging Evidence, one of three. Two of three, and three of three. We've got Wolverine Evolution. X-Men Wrath of Apocalypse. This is one that I reviewed on Comicgeddon. It's actually from the original X-Factor comics. Because if you don't know, the original X-Men of Cyclops, Jean Grey, Angel, Beast, and Iceman uh, left the X-Men after... Magneto joined the X-Men, and they created the X-Factor. All right, now we've got Amalgam Comics, Doctor Strange Fate number one. This is in horrible condition, still good for the collection. What this is is basically when Marvel and DC had their Marvel vs. DC storyline, uh, they eventually merged together and became Amal Amalgam Comics for a while. And Doctor Strange Fate was a combination of Doctor Strange, Doctor Fate, and Professor Xavier. Then we've got Legends of the Dark Claw, which is another Amalgam Comics. Uh, it combines Batman with Wolverine. Spider-Boy, number one, which was a cross between Superboy and Spider-Man. Uh, Spider-Man at this time was cons uh, thought to be a clone. Now we're getting more into the Marvel Comics. So This is getting into kind of the Spider-Man clone saga. Spider-Man... The Parker Years, November of uh, November number one. Spider-Man: The Lost Years, August number one. Uh, the Amazing Spider-Man number three thirty-three. Marvel Tales featuring Spider-Man number two eighty-two. Maximum Carnage, August, uh, Spider-Man Unlimited number two. This is the conclusion to the Maximum Carnage storyline. Spider-Man: The Exile Returns, part two of four. This is the first where Venom comes back New York after being a vigilante in San Francisco. And he uh, meets Ben Riley, the Scarlet Spider, for the first time. It's not in this comic. I believe that's in one of four, but you get the uh, Spectacular Spider-Man number 219, featuring Daredevil. I always loved that Daredevil costume, by the way. A lot of people didn't really care for it because of the 90s-style pads on it, but I really liked it. Uh, the Spider-Man Collector's Preview from December of 94. Spider-Man Web of Life, 55. February. Sp Amazing Spider-Man number 400. This has the death of Aunt May. The first time Aunt May ever died in the comic. As you can see, it's pressed. Spectacular Spider-Man number 223. I believe this one might be the introduction of Kane, the original clone of Spider-Man. Web of Kane, actually Web of Spider-Man from May number 124. One of five of the Mark of Kane storyline. Two of five of the Mark of Kane. Amazing Spider-Man number 401. Three of five. Spider-Man 58, Spectacular Spider-Man 224, Mark of Cain 4 of 5. I think I'm missing 5 of 5. Spectacular Spider-Man number 225. This is when Phil Urich uh, from Daredevil Comics, his nephew becomes a heroic vigilante version of the Green Goblin. Web of Spider-Man number 125, The Return of Gwen Stacy. I believe she ended up being a clone 
Amazing Spider-Man 403, Trial of Peter Parker, number two of four. Trial of Peter Parker, four of four. Spectacular Spider-Man 226. Maximum Clonage, part three of six. Amazing Spider-Man 404. Web of Spider-Man 128. Exiled, one of four. Two of four. Th four of four. Uh, Power and Responsibility, part one. Web of Spider-Man 117. Power and Responsibility, part two. Amazing Spider-Man 394. Part 3, Spider-Man 51. Part 4, the finale, Spectacular Spider-Man 217. Uh, then we've got the debut of the female Dr. Octopus after uh, Otto Octavius' first death. Uh, it's Amazing Spider-Man uh, 406, The Greatest Responsibility, 1 of 3. 2 of 3, Spider-Man number 63. 3 of 3. This is a special cover. I've always loved these clear covers. Just thought it was pretty cool. This is Spectacular Spider-Man number 229. This is the one where Ben Riley decides to finally become Spider-Man. Because at the time he thought he was the original Peter Parker, but it, it is one big soap opera thing. This is when Ben Riley creates his new Spider-Man costume and becomes Spider-Man. Sensational Spider-Man number zero. It's got the holographic cover. Return of Kane, part two of four. Uh, Sensational Spider-Man number two. Amazing Spider-Man number 409. Uh, Return of Kane, three of four. Uh, four of four. Spider-Man number 66. Blood Brothers number one. Uh, some Sensational Spider-Man number 4, Blood Brothers 2, Amazing Spider-Man 411, Blood Brothers 3, Spider-Man number 68, these are from 1996, Spectacular Spider-Man number 234, Blood Brothers 4 of 6, 5 of 6, and 6 of 6. This is the one that I won in the uh, drawing at Geeking Out. Spy Amazing Spider-Man number 700, this is the death of Peter Parker when... Uh, Dr. Octopus transferred his consciousness into Peter Parker's body and took over as the Superior Spider-Man. Then we've got Amazing Spider-Man number one, Renew Your Vows. The Amazing Spider-Man Edge of Spider-Verse number eight, Spider-Girl's Last Stand. Amazing Spider-Man 18. Silk, uh, for those of you who don't know who Silk is, uh, she was also, I believe, bitten by the radioactive spider that bit Peter Parker. Uh, for a time, Spider-Man and Silk were a couple. Uh, but they couldn't be near each other without having a an extremely strong urge to mate with each other. So, Axis Revolutions, uh, Marvel number two, all new X Men, E for Extinction, number one, X Men Age of Apocalypse, number one, Logan the Legacy, Death of Wolverine. For those of you who don't know, uh, Wolverine in the comics, the uh, original Wolverine in the six one six universe what uh did die uh he was encased by adamantium uh liquid adamantium uh but he did get in one last kill right before he died and then his clone x-23 took his place there was a huge there was a uh, storyline where a group of people uh x-23 Sabretooth, uh, lady death strike and i believe dakin his son all tried to become the new wolverine but x-23 eventually won uh, executioner song uh, X Factor number 85, X Men Unlimited first issue, X Men Unlimited number three, X Men Unlimited number four, X Men Unlimited number seven. This one is number six. Then we're getting into the Fatal Attraction storyline. For those of you who don't know, the Fatal Attraction storyline is where Magneto ripped out Wolverine's adamantium from his skeleton and it left him with bone claws for the better part of uh, the 1990s. Uh, this is Uncanny X-Men number 304. Check out that holographic card on the cover. Uh, Uncanny X-Men 316, The Phalanx Covenant. Uh, the introduction of the, uh, Generation X, uh, special X-Men anniversary issue. X-Men number one. And we've got X-Men number two, three, four, five, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, thirteen. 10, 11, 13. Executioner song, X-Men number 15. Uh, here's the issue where, I believe, Magneto pulls Wolverine's adamantium out of his skeleton. It's X-Men number 25, part of the Fatal Attraction storyline. And there's a holographic image of Gambit. Uh, X-Men number 95, this is the revelation that Wolverine 
is the new horseman death of the horsemen of Apocalypse. Uh, Apocalypse restored his adamantium to his skeleton, and he became the new horseman of death. A uh, special X-Men anniversary issue, X-Men 95, Wolverine. This is the one where his uh, adamantium gets pulled out. It's Wolverine number 75 of the Fatal Attraction storyline. You see Jean Grey and uh, Jubilee in the background. Wolverine in the holographic image. Uh, this is at, shortly after that Wolverine number 77 where he's got the bone claws. Uh, his healing factor isn't as fast as it was, once was. Because it spent so much time healing him from the uh, wounds of his adamantium getting ripped out. So he's bandages up where his claws come out. Wolverine number 78, 79, 80, 82, 83, 84, 90, number 92 from August of 95. Let's see, 83, 84. This girl here is a robot bomb. Um, and this is a cyborg Wolverine from the future. Marvel Comics presents Weapon X number 77, 78, 82, 84, uh, Doom 2099 number 25, Captain America number 383, 50th anniversary issue. Nomad number three, uh, X Bucky versus X Captain America. This is where the second Bucky uh, eventually became Nomad in the 80s. And uh, the, I believe it's the third Captain America because there was a Captain America before Steve Rogers. Uh, so this is the third Captain America who eventually became U.S. agent and they fight each other. The Incredible Hercules. Uh, number 132 with the Mighty Thor. Hawkeye, Marvel Mystery, Uncanny Avengers, Inhumans, Armor Wars, Miss Marvel, and Cripple Hulk, Deathlock, uh, Star Wars Tales of the Jedi. This is from the Old Republic. That's my line. We've got 1 of 5, 2 of 5, 3 of 5, 4 of 5. And 5 of 5. Freedom, Mod, Uprising, 1 of 2, 2 of 2. Dark Lords of the Sith, 1 of 6, 2 of 6, 3 of 6, 4 of 6, 5 of 6. And then we got the Sith of War, 1 of 6, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then Heir to the Empire, 1 of 6. Dark Empire, 4 of 6. Dark Empire 2, Hero Special. Dark Empire 2, 1 of 6, 2 of 6, 3 of 6, 4 of 6, 5 of 6, 6 of 6. Special Star Trek The Next Generation from DC Comics, number two. We've got Riker, Jordy, and Rolaren on the cover. Then we've got Star Trek The Next Generation, Intelligence Gathering from IDW Publishing, issue number two. And then issue number four. In this one you see Picard and Worf. And then you got Rolaren. Uh, Counselor Troy and Dr. Crusher. Masters of the Universe, number one, Icons of Evil, from CGE, Cross Gen Publishing. Masters of the Universe, uh, from Image Comics, number one, cover C, number one, cover B, number two, cover B, number two, cover A, number three, cover A. Then we get IDW Publishing's Ghostbusters Infestation, cover B, number one. Tainted Love, Displaced Aggression, then we've got The Traveler from Stan Lee, Boom Comics, number one, number two, uh, Walking Dead, number 150, Phantom, first issue from DC Comics, this is in horrible condition, but, uh, The Phantom, number two, uh, the Phantom from Moonstone Comics, number 17. Julie Walker is the Phantom. This is a one-shot deal. 
The Last Phantom from Dynamite Comics, number three. Number five. Number seven. Number eight. Uh, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, number three. And that's from Hamilton Comics. Uh, Voltron Defender of the Universe from DDP Publishing, number six. Number four, so I guess that should go before six, really. Uh, Transformers Generation 2, number one. It's got a special fold out cover. Never understood why some people put their comics in backwards. It's pretty cool. It's reflective. Legends of the Shield, number one. When I was a kid, I had the figure of Legend of the Shield. I always called him Captain USA. <laughs> then we got Earth Quest 2, number one. This is from Impact Comics. Angel After the Fall. This is immediately after the final episode of the series, uh, the last season of Angel. After the Fall. This is the Spike special. Fall, after the fall, after the fall. Uh, Storm Shadow, Green Llama and Black Terror, Silver Star, Irredeemable, and I think the there's a flip side for Incorruptible. Uh, Boondock Saints, number one, from Infusion Comics. Uh, Boondock Saints, number two. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video with that. Uh, I'll be back later, and we'll go over another box.